we're Nanu Nanu. We're an independent band from Dublin. Welcome to our studio, Unit One. That's right, you're here. We are in the alien capsule at the moment. We're just back from five weeks touring in Europe and we learned a lot of lessons. As an independent band who didn't have any label backing, didn't have a tour manager and we were on a tight budget, um, we thought it would be cool to share some of the lessons we learned with you guys. In this video, we are going to focus on accommodation. accommodation. Accommodation is uh, one of the biggest costs you're going to come across when you're touring. We found out a few shortcuts to save money. Tip one. Okay, there's loads of websites you can go on to get cheap accommodation, such as Airbnb. Airbnb is a totally great site. Um, yeah, it's a good resource. We would recommend it. Um, link below. People who have apartments, nice apartments, they want to rent out part of their apartment to you. So you can actually end up staying in really cool places like always um, in the center of town or the center of where you want to be. Yeah. For a good price, it's better than a hotel. If you can only spend 25 euro for a night of accommodation, then you can put that in the search and there'll be like loads of stuff that comes up. Or if you have more and you want to put in like 50 euros a night, then you know, there'll be stuff for everyone in everyone's price range. They check you out as well before you come. So they yeah. check out your decent. Yeah, they make sure that they'll get on with you as well. So like the only people that even allow you to stay with them are people that they think that you're going to get on with them. Sometimes you meet kind of interesting and nice people. We didn't have any bad experience with people being weird or anything like that. They were all cool, yeah. Just plan in advance. You need to kind of book, I don't know, at least a week in advance. Also, if you are on like a zero budget, there's also the option of um, couch surfing couchsurfers.com couchsurfing which is like places that you can actually go and stay in a place in someone's couch for absolutely free um, so that's another website to check out if you're really like stuck okay. tip number two. two okay bring a tent bring a tent simple yeah. as and there's another website which I've forgotten the name of link below to look at the campsites all around Europe. The website is brilliant because it tells you all of the different facilities that the campsites have generally the camping experiences in Ireland like aren't that great but in Europe, they've got tons of amazing campsites, like yeah. properly pimped yeah. campsites. They have some shit ones as well. <laughs> we went to a good few campsites. I'd say like 80% of the campsites we were at were really cool. Like you can get Wi-Fi at all of them, mm -hmm. like this showers and like usually a swimming pool. Yeah, like cool and, stuff. Yeah. Like, and, and they have as well something that there was like, you could do like horse riding and canoeing and like we stayed in one on, in France that was like right on the Loire. The Loire River was like right here and then you go back to your tent and there was an electricity supply right there. There was Wi-Fi. We were able to plug in our laptops, charge up our batteries, like keep on top of our gig promotion, all that stuff like perfect for a touring band. Really, really cool. Yeah, and all for like 15 to 20 euros a night for our two of us. Tenner each per night. Totally worth camping. Mm. So yeah, bring a fucking tent. Tip three. Customize your vehicle and pimp it out because you're gonna be spending a lot of time in it. Yeah. This one is a bit more specific to us. Like, I don't know if this would be relevant for a lot of other people. We are traveling uh, as a duo in a Citroen Berlingo van, which isn't the biggest van in the world. It's not a very big van, but it's big enough like for all of our gear and it's big enough for two people to travel anywhere. Before we went on the road, we customized it in a way that we built a, like a shelf across the back of the van. We measured the base amp, which is our biggest piece of equipment. Luckily, it fitted perfectly halfway up. So if your van has a double bass in it or a harp or like drum kit, then it probably yeah, <laughs> wouldn't, be, so wouldn't be as easy. A builder friend of ours, Brian, helped us by building a frame on the side of the van walls. And then we just put some like, plywood is it or it was ply yeah across or mdf or something like that and drilled it in and then like we put all the gear underneath and that kind of held up the level and um luckily all of our gear fitted there and then we just had like bedding on the top of that so that saved us like hundreds and hundreds of euros like sleeping in there mm. the cost of the conversion was like I don't know, 50 quid max. Yeah, we stayed in the van at least 10 times on the trip. Yeah. You might not want to do that. Yeah. It was okay for us though. Tip number, number four. four. Stay with your friends whenever you can. Like probably a lot of people have friends scattered around. Yeah, I have loads of friends who've just left Ireland and it, it kind of, I don't know, you do as well. Yeah. Like, come on, like everyone's emigrating. I know it's a really obvious thing to say, but like, like it's totally worth factoring that into your trip. But say like from, from Holland to Berlin, we could actually stay, we figured we could stop in Hanover and bump, yeah. And it's a good way to catch up with old friends. Yep. 
Tip number five. Find showers. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing you might be missing is cleanliness when you're on the road for an extended period of time. Is that even to do with accommodation? Sort of is, yeah. Like when you're not staying in hotels yeah. and sometimes you'd be camping, sometimes you'd be staying in the van, sometimes you'd be like crashing in someone's house. You don't always have like immediate access to showers and stuff. You have to take a shower where you can find it. Just wherever there's showers, like just always, always have the shower. Yeah. That's what we learned. <laughs> You'd be like, oh no, I like we don't have time to have a shower now. I'm gonna go like I'll have a shower in the next place for this evening. Like there might not be a next place for like two days, yeah, okay? That has happened like, a lot. Yeah, just like whenever you can, just have the shower. So that's our top tips for accommodation on the road on a budget. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. And also, if you have other tips on how to save money on accommodation while touring, please let us know in the comment section. Goodbye from the Unit 1 capsule. Woo!